Grasshoppers are extremely common. There's more to these summertime critters than meets the eye. Hey guys, welcome to Facts Palace, where we talk about exciting facts about everything. If it's your first time on our channel, hit the subscribe button for more interesting videos in the future. In today's episode, we're going over 11 fascinating facts about grasshoppers. So without any further ado, let's get started. Number 11. Grasshoppers and locusts are one and the same. When we think of grasshoppers, most people recall pleasant childhood memories, catching the jumping insects in meadows or backyards, while the word locusts brings to mind images of historic plagues devouring every plant in sight. In fact, grasshoppers and locusts are members of the same insect order. While certain species are commonly referred to as grasshoppers and others as locusts, both creatures are short-horned members of the suborder Califera in the order of Orthoptera. Number 10. Did you know that grasshoppers actually have ears? However, their auditory organs are found not on the head, but on the abdomen instead. A pair of membranes that vibrate in response to sound waves are located one on either side of the first abdominal segment tucked beneath the wings. This simple eardrum is called a tympani organ, allowing grasshoppers to hear the songs of their companions. Number 9. Although grasshoppers can hear, they can't really distinguish the pitches very well. Their auditory organs are made up of simple structures that primarily detect differences in intensity and rhythm, but not pitch. As a result, the male grasshopper song isn't particularly melodic, which is a good thing since females don't really care if their companions carry a tune. Each species of grasshopper produces a characteristic rhythm to distinguish its song from others and enables courting males and females of the same species to find each other. This is amazing! Number 8. Grasshoppers make music by stridulating and crepitating. Not familiar with those terms? No worry, it's not that complicated. Stridulation simply means that the grasshoppers rub their hind legs against their forewings to generate signature tunes. The special pegs on the inside of the hind leg act like a percussion instrument when they come in contact with the thickened edge of the wing. While the band-winged grasshoppers crepitate or loudly snap their wings as they fly. Moving on to number 7. If you've ever tried to catch a grasshopper, you'd be surprised to know how far they can jump to flee danger. They literally catapult themselves into the air. If humans could jump the way grasshoppers do, we would be able to easily leap over a soccer field. But how do these insects jump so far? Well, the answers are all in their strong hind legs. A grasshopper's hind legs function like a miniature slingshot. In preparation for a jump, the grasshopper will first contract its large flexor muscles slowly, bending its hind legs at the knee joint. A special piece of cuticle within the knee acts as a spring, storing up all the potential energy. The grasshopper then relaxes its leg muscles, letting the cuticle release its energy and flinging the insect into the air. Sounds cool, right? Number 6. For fact number 6, did you know that grasshoppers are also an excellent flyer? Since grasshoppers have such powerful jumping legs, people sometimes don't realize that they also have strong wings. Most species of grasshoppers have wings and can fly pretty well. They will first use their large hind's jumping legs as a booster to propel them into the air where they spread their wings and take off. Number 5. Grasshoppers can't do too much harm when solitary or in small groups, although it consumes about half its body weight of plant each day. But when they swarm, their behavior changes and transform from solitary phase into gregarious phase. Their combined feeding habits can completely defoliate a landscape. A one-kilometer swarm with about 40 million locusts can consume what 35,000 people do in a day. A swarm the size of Paris eats as much food in a day as half the population of France. Moving on to number 4. Grasshoppers are a rich source of protein and are commonly eaten in African, Central, and South American countries. 
However, eating them out in the wild is not recommended as they may have been sprayed with pesticides as part of control measures. Number 3. Did you know that grasshoppers existed long before dinosaurs? Modern grasshoppers are descendants of ancient ancestors who lived long before dinosaurs roamed the Earth. The fossil records show that primitive grasshoppers first appeared during the Carboniferous period more than 300 million years ago. Grasshopper nymphs are also occasionally found in amber. Number 2. If you've ever handled grasshoppers, you've probably had a few of them spit brown liquid on you. Grasshoppers split as a means of self-defense. The liquid helps the insects repel predators. Rest assured, however, the grasshoppers aren't using you as a spittoon. And finally, number one. Grasshoppers are often colored in a way that camouflages them in their local habitat. For example, we can always meet the green ones in grassy fields, while sandy-colored grasshoppers are often found in dirt and desert areas. With that being said, here we come to the end of this episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know down in the comment section which of these facts did you know about, and also share your thoughts and comments with us about anything in this episode. Once again, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out our other videos for more interesting facts. Look forward to hearing from you. This is Facts Palace. See you in the next video.